Okay, so let's start with plies, heels on the bar, sit bone width apart. Straighten the legs, bend the legs. Breathe out to straighten, breathe in to bend. We want to feel the back of the legs working, so think of pressing the thigh bones down towards the ground and initiating the movement from the sit bones through to the heels. Toes on the bar, balls the feet on the bar, exactly the same thing, sit bone width apart, breathing out through the mouth, breathing in through the nose. Feel like you're lengthening out of the hips and returning with control. Once again, working the front and the back of the thighs by thinking of imprinting the thighs down. Then V position. So you want the knees about ASIS, hip bone width apart. Breathing out to straighten, squeeze the heels together, breathing in, keep those muscles contracted as you return the bed to the stopper. So keep squeezing the heels together as you lower down. Keep lengthening out of the hips. Now heels out wide, breathing out to straighten the legs. Try and adduct the legs together. So as you straighten the legs, yes, we're working the thighs and the back of the legs, but you also want to use the inside thighs. So think about actually drawing the heels in towards one another as you push out and as you return back to the stopper. Keep lengthening through the spine, out through the crown of the head, and then balls of the feet or toes on the bar. Now, I'm, ideally, you want to keep the heels nice and still. I'm not actually doing that so well in this series. But ideally, we want to keep the heels as stabilized and as still as possible. Breathing out, adduct the legs. Breathing in, adduct the legs. Now into rises. So once again, feet sit bone width apart. Straighten the legs and then lower and lift the heels. I'll often lift my head up and maybe support my head with my hands so that I can have a look at the alignment of my feet. Often you'll find that people roll onto the outside of the feet. We want to keep pressing into the big toe joints to keep the heels sort of tucked and hidden behind the ankles. Then into prances. So lift all the way up and then lower all the way down as best you can. Engage the thighs by sucking the kneecaps up and get that lift up through the core, through the palate, through the crown of the head, all the way from the big toe joints right up through to the crown of the head. Okay, so put the headrest up, roll onto your side. We're going to change the springs. We had three, uh, two and a half springs for uh, plies. Now we're going down to two springs. If that feels too strong, then just do one and a half springs. Lift your head up and have a look at your pelvis. Make sure you're straight, so pubic bone, navel and nose in all in one line. Right heel is in line with the sit bone. Breathe out to straighten, breathing in to return. Place your left hand on your ribs and your right hand on your lower abdominals. Feel the lower abdominals drawing in and up and feel the rib cage closing in and down. Swapping sides, swapping hands. Start with the bed just a millimetre or two away from the stopper so you feel your muscles activate and then keep that contraction as you push out and in. Putting your hand around the back of the thigh, making sure that's contracted is a really awesome way of making sure that that active leg is working for you. So that left hamstring. Now right ball of the foot on the bar. Once again, a little bit away from the stopper to start and then pressing out with the back of the leg. Thigh bone presses down. Thigh muscle scoops up. Lower abdominals are drawing in and up, ribs are down, neck is soft and ideally try and keep that ankle as stable as possible. Other side, initiate activating the back of the leg, lengthening out of your ankle. Feel the lower abdominals scooping up as the foot presses away from you and the leg presses down. So now into semicircle prep, put the headrest down, feet in a V position, toes apart, heels together, knees in line with the ASISs. Tuck the tail under, roll all the way up, keeping the heels together. 
push the carriage out three quarters of the way, keep the carriage still as you roll through the spine back to neutral and then return the bed to the stopper. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, squeeze the heels together, reaching the knees away from you, pushing out with the back of the legs, rolling down, stabilizing the carriage with the hamstrings, return to neutral and then back into the stopper. Again, squeeze the heels together, keep the knees sit bone with the uh, ASIS hip bone width apart. Unhunch the shoulders as you roll through the spine. And then we reverse it. So you press out, tuck your tail under, lift the hips all the way up, keeping the bed as still as possible. Return back to the stopper, keep the bed in at the stopper as you roll back down through the spine. Now if the carriage is moving away as you're rolling up and down, just put on a little bit of a, light, a heavier spring, so maybe a light spring like a quarter or a half spring. And that'll help you keep the bed in at the stopper whilst you build up your strength and mobility. As you draw the bed in, reach the knees away up to where the ceiling and the wall meet. Keep the hamstrings and the inside thighs active. So put the headrest back up, roll onto your side. We're going to do a spring change. So we'll put one and a half springs on. If that's too strong for you, then one spring is plenty. Line yourself up, lift your head up, have a look at your pelvis, pubic bone, navel and nose all in one line. Hands in the straps. Knees up into tabletop, core abdominals engaged. Breathe out to lower the arms, breathe in to return. So lat pull down series. And you want to initiate the movement from the mid back muscles. Only lower the arms down within a range that your scapula, your shoulder blades can stay flat against the carriage. So that is not all the way down to the carriage. It's often just up above and initiating the push of the straps with those mid-back muscles, the lower trapezius and the lats. Now turn the arms out, open them out, draw the arms in by your thighs, and then open to shoulder height. As the arms go out, drop the collarbones down. As the arms go in, initiate from the armpits. Try and lengthen the arms away from your shoulders, particularly through this mid-range. Armpits reach, engage. Keep the scapula externally rotating and flat. Triceps. Keep the elbows above the carriage, off the carriage, a couple of inches. And bend to 90 and then palms down towards the floor. So the challenge here is to keep the elbows nice and stable keeping the humerus, the upper arm bone, very still and stabilized, nipping the scapula back and down. So you're strengthening your stabilizers in your shoulder blades whilst working the triceps. Return the bed back to the stopper and then put your feet down. Two deep breaths. In through the nose, calm body. Out through the mouth, calm, relaxed body. Okay, ready to rock and roll again. So bring the hands up above the shoulders, engage your abdominals, lift one leg up followed by the other and then you do a curl up. So this is hundreds prep. Reach the fingertips towards the bar, really using those armpit muscles and the lower shoulder blade muscles. Keep pulling the collarbones away from the ears. Drawing the armpits towards the direction that they're facing which is towards the hips. Feel the abdominals pressing your hands into the strap so the abs are holding your head and your shoulders and arms up. In through the nose, out through the mouth, try and lift up a millimetre higher. In through the nose, out through the mouth, engage the pelvic floor, draw the belly button down and up. Think calm body. And then return the bed back to the stopper and then place your feet down. 
Okay, knee rocks, legs out nice and wide, feet out nice and wide, and then rolling the knees to one side and then the other, initiating with the knees, lengthening your knees out of your sacroiliac joints. Okay, single leg stretch, lift your head up, make sure you're aligned, pubic bone, navel and nose, hands above shoulders, and then neutral pelvis, one leg up, followed by the other. Lower the arms down, reach one leg out. And then the other side. Try and keep the foot on the same plane as you reach the leg out. Lower the arms down within a range that the scapula stay imprinted and flat. So it feels like you're externally rotating your arm bones. Ribs down, belly up. Engaging the back of the thigh just like when you were doing plies and single leg stretch. So engaging the hamstring as you extend the leg out. Elbows stay straight, wrists are straight, lengthening your wrists away from your shoulders. Return the bed back to the stopper, place your feet down. Put the straps down, roll onto your side. So we're going to change the springs. We're going to do feet in straps. So you might want to put on one full spring one half spring and one quarter spring. If that's too strong, then one full and one half is plenty. Stepping one foot into the strap and then the other. Start position, neutral pelvis, heels together, toes apart and knees out the width of your ASISs. So keeping the heels together, you're going to exhale, straighten the legs like you're sliding your heels out on a tabletop and then inhale, return. So reach out, engage your inside thighs for a moment, feel that contraction and then maintain that as you return. So keep that inside thigh engagement as you straighten the legs and as you bend. And what you'll feel is you'll feel this lengthening of your thighs out away from the hips. Into circles, bring the legs into parallel, lift the legs up, open them out, lower them down and return. Within a range that you can keep your pelvis and lower back very still. Feel the pushing of your feet into the straps as you lift the legs up. So don't let the springs do this part for you. We want to resist and then you'll feel the hamstrings work here. But try and keep that connection in the back of the legs. And now we're going to reverse it. So we're keeping our legs in parallel. You can do it in external rotation, but we're doing it in parallel for this workout. Lengthening out through the toe joints away from your hips, feeling the hamstrings and the back of the legs do the work. Put your hands around your waist and draw your waist in like you're doing a belt in a notch. So now into high openings. We want the... The lower back will actually be slightly imprinted here, but you want to feel like the tailbone is still sort of lengthening down and out. The hamstrings, the back of the legs, are holding the carriage still. So be sensitive to the pressure of your feet as you open and close the legs so that you can keep the carriage stabilised. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the straw, and then we hold it there for about five deep breaths. Feel the lungs expand. Feel the lungs contract. Keep slightly pushing the feet into the straps. Feel the rib cage lengthen up and out of your waist and feel the rib cage draw in. And then return the, bed, the legs back up. Press the legs down. Now we're doing short spinal prep. So the feet are in a V position. You're going to draw the legs over your head as best as you can. Your pelvis is going to lift up. Now bend your knees and then roll through your spine, drawing your heels down towards your seat and then reach the legs out. Keep the legs in rotation. The pelvis will lift up. We're wanting to feel a really nice stretch in your lower back and the back of the legs. So as the legs go over, allow your pelvis to lift up by pressing your arms down, ribs down. Soften the knees in towards your shoulders. Roll and reach out. Resist with the back of the legs. Feel the sit bones tuck up to the thighs and then as you roll down, work in the hamstrings as you lower the heels down. 
Just really enjoying the stretch in the back of the legs. Keep tucking the tail up. Feel the back of the legs engaged. Imprint the lower rib cage down so you get that beautiful C curve so that you open up your spine. Keep lengthening arms away from your shoulders, imprinting the arms down. And then this is another variation. So you bend your knees as deep as you can, the heels are together, and then you draw the knees towards your chest as you lift your pelvis up, and then lower the heels down to your seat, and then reach out like frog. Bend the knees as close to your chest as you can, and then use your arms to lift your bottom up. Roll, and then reach. We're after feeling a stretch in your spine as you lift the tailbone up, really pressing the arms down. You might need a stronger spring here to help you lift your pelvis up, but don't be afraid to use the arms to assist with the stretch of your spine. Beautiful mobility, folding in the hips and then tailbone to head, knees to shoulder rests, and then heels down to your seat and then reaching out. Bring the legs into parallel, hold one leg in chair, put one foot on the foot bar, Take the other foot out and then return the bed back to the stopper. So we'll put one full spring on. If that's too strong, then three quarters, so a half and a quarter is fine. Step onto the foot plate, then put the other foot against the carriage. So you might want to use a sticky mat. I like to have half my foot sort of hanging over each edge. Um, and then half the foot on. So find a neutral pelvis, so shifting your pelvis forward and back and then finding that neutral position. Both knees are bent and then we straighten the left leg only, so the carriage leg. Put your right hand on your right glute, put your left hand on your abdominals, scoop the belly up and feel like your right glute is sucking in towards the hip so that you can feel almost like that indent in the right back of the hip there stabilizing the hip and then the other side so you want to bend your knees shift your weight step one leg down then the other and then turn around and then step onto the foot plate first because the carriage is a moving platform so just for safety find a neutral position sit bones in line with the heels left hand on the glute right hand on the belly keep the left leg really nice and still as you push out initiating through the heels so we get into glute med and glute min and those deep external rotators by pushing out through the heels through the outside thigh getting into those deep hip muscles out through the mouth in through the nose and then bend your knees shift your weight step one leg off and then the other and then we're doing adduction So you want to go a little bit lighter than the abduction. Put one foot on, shift your weight, and then the other foot is actually on the carriage, this time towards the middle of the carriage. Find a neutral position. Put your hands on the inside thighs. Draw your heels in towards one another so your inside thighs are engaged. Pressing out and then drawing in. So either a three-quarter spring or you might want to go uh, lighter, so a half. Inhale, open and then exhale, lengthening up. Now squeeze the bed into the stopper for four, hands on the inside thighs, three, two, one. Squeezing in is the challenge here. Open, feeling a stretch. Now press the carriage into the stopper, really try and draw the legs together. Squeeze the heels in towards one another, and then opening out, drawing in, trying to touch the feet towards one another, trying to feel like your inside thighs and the sit bones are connecting into the center line. Other side, foot plate first, because it's a light spring, don't step onto the carriage, and then put your right foot on the carriage. Inhale open, and then exhale, draw your legs together. Keep lifting up and out, pressing the hands into the thighs. Stretch, and then push the feet down and together. Now squeeze the legs together for five. Four, keep lengthening up and out, sit bones to the thighs, two, one, inhale, open, 
and then exhale. Now as you draw your legs together, also press the hands into your thighs so you feel like your lats are engaging as well. Shift your weight onto the foot plate and then stepping off the carriage. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed your workout, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date and get notified when it's released. Thanks for watching and remember, movement is medicine.